What's going on guys, John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're gonna clean up our code a little bit for our app with Flask and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna to start to clean up our code a little bit. Now, what am I talking about? If we head back over to our code here, we can take a look. Our main file is hello.py and you can see over here on the right hand side, this is sort of the miniature of our entire file here and we could see this is starting to get a little bit crazy. There's all kinds of stuff here. It just goes on and on and on. It's getting hard to find things. And what do we want to do about it? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. So I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Flask videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So normally if I was going to create an app with Flask of this complexity and size, I might have sort of created it a little bit differently. I might have broken it down and used different sort of structures. At this point, we're sort of past all that. We could try and cram all of our code into a different structure now, but the app is, you know, you know, we've been working on this for months. So instead of doing that, what I'm gonna do is just break this apart a little bit. And we'll probably talk about some of those other structural methods later on. Maybe we'll create a new app and I'll show you how to do it from the beginning. But for now, we just want to sort of make a little bit more sense of this. And if we look through here, we could see certain themes in this file. We've got our routes and our functions. All right, that makes sense. We've got our database classes. We've got our forms. And there's a bunch of forms. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to break apart all of those forms into another file. So now if we have to do any form work, we could just open that other file. And that's going to help a whole lot with keeping our code a little cleaner and a little more easier to navigate. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to file new file and I'm going to come over here to our hello.py file and I'm going to copy all of this and I'm going to paste it in here and I'm just going to save this as hello underscore backup. So dot pi. So just in case we mess something up, we've got a backup here. We can roll this back really easily. So next I'm going to create a new file. So let's go new file. And let's save this file, save as, and we can save this as anything we want. I'm going to call this webforms.py because we're going to move all of our web forms onto it. And if we look at our app over here, we've got a lot of forms. We've got this guy right here. We've got this guy. We've got uh, this thing here. I don't even remember what that is. We've got uh, the login form. We've got, let's see, this register form. We've got a lot of forms going on here, right? So let's break apart all of those forms and stick them in this file over here. So I'm going to come down here and let's just look here and we can see class login form and then flask form. So I'm just going to sort of copy this, hit control F and paste this into the find. And we could just start at the top here and click find and it will come down and find each of these. So I'm just going to copy this, highlight it, copy it, delete it. I'm hitting control C to copy, come over to this file, control V to paste it in. Right. So we're just going to go through here and find all of the instances of forms and click the button, go to the next one. Here it is. Here's our post form. So copy this, paste it in here. And let's do it again. And again, I'm, I'm also taking the comments so we know exactly what these things are. Right. So there we go. There's a third one. There's a lot of forms. Right. So this is going to help a lot. So here we've got another one here and another one looks like right here. So let's copy all of this stuff, paste it in. And I think that's probably all. So, okay, that looks good. Now let's take a look at these forms, right? So this is inheriting flask form. So we need to reference that up here. We need to import it. And there's also some other things that it's referencing these validators. We have to import those and uh, stuff like that. So let's come up here to our hello.py file and let's look through here. Well, we know these are forms and we use what the form for those. So I'm just gonna come here and grab all of the stuff that looks like it's what the form related, copy it, bring it over here and paste it in. And let's see, what else is there? There's another one right here. So we'll grab that. Paste that in. So, okay, that's looking pretty good. So go ahead and save this file and save this file. Now this isn't gonna work yet. We still need to use all this stuff, all of these forms. We need to be able to reference them from our hello.py file. How do we do that? Well, pretty easy. We just import it up here, just like we import everything else. So let's go from web forms. Because remember right here, 
webforms.py is what we called this. We don't have to say from webforms.py. All we have to do is say from webforms. We want to import certain things. Well, what do we want to import? Well, we want to import this login form. So login form, slap a comma in and grab the next one, post form. Slap that one in. I'm back over here, scroll down, user form. Slap that one in. And you can say, well, this is kind of a pain, but you know, this is not that difficult. We can do this one time, it's not too bad. And finally, namer form, boom. So, okay, we've now imported those things. We should be able to use them. So let's head over to our app and give this a try. But before we do that, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codingme.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships on my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. All right, end of commercial. All right, so let's come back over here and we need to log in. Here's our first test. Does this form work? So let's try it and let's see. Password123 was my password. Boom, seems to have worked. All right, so let's test out this update profile. Let's change this to John Elder 2. Click Submit. All right, that seems to have worked. There it is, 2. Uh, let's try this one. Up. Uh, let's change this back to John Elder. So we can submit. All right, that seems to work. Let's see, what else we got? Add a blog post. Test 2. Author John Elder. Test. Test. Go ahead and submit it. Hey, that looked like it worked. Let's see. Hey, there it is. We can view this. Uh, let's try and edit it. Test 222, that seems to have worked. Come back here to posts, uh, edit it here, yeah, that looks good. Let's try and delete it, that looks good. All right, so everything seems to be working. Now let's log out, head over to register, and let's create a new name. So let's say Tim Elder, and this is gonna be Tim. Tim at Tim.com, favorite color red, password, B-A-S-S-W-R-D, one, two, three. B-A-S-S-W-R-D, one, two, three. Let's go ahead and submit this guy. User was added, there he is. We can update this, we already know that works. Let's try and log in with Tim. And that seems to work. So, okay, just that easy, all of our forms still work. And we've done a lot of work here to make this a little bit easier. Now, this file is still very long, but our app is getting complicated. We've got a lot of routes and stuff. Now, the other thing we have besides routes and functions are our database classes. So let's come down through here and just kind of look. And here's one. I'm just gonna grab this, copy it, and let's go to the very end of the file and paste that in. So we can search by DB model to see if there's any more. I think there is at least one more. And here's our user model. So again, I'm just gonna copy all of this and bring it down here to the bottom, paste that in. And so now in our minds at least, we know that if we need to do model stuff for our database, you hardly ever have to change your database model. But if we do, if we wanted to add a column to something or whatever, we just know that the database stuff is at the bottom of this file easy to find, we just scroll down to the bottom. Now for the rest of this stuff, I might come through here and start to make these alphabetical. So load user, log in, log out. A dashboard, I would probably take this and put it above the L's, right? And just sort of come through here, I'm not gonna do that. I'll let you do that if you're interested. Delete post, post, post edit posts, that would go up further in the alphabetical list, add posts, that'd probably be the first thing, A, right? Get current date, delete, and just, like I said, just put these update, that's probably gonna be at the end, you know? Uh, put these in alphabetical order. So then, if you know, if you need to look something up, if you want to, if you need to do something, make a change to one of these functions, you know they're in alphabetical order, it's gonna be a lot easier to find them on this page or you could just do what I do and hit Control F to pull up the little find function and you know type in add, right? And then just sort of search through here until you find, oh, there's add user, right? So that's an easy way to do it too, but you know, just up to you if you wanna really, really clean this up, that's how you would do that. Now, like I said, there are other ways to structure a Flask app using many different files, and we didn't do that starting off this app because when we started, this was a very basic and simple app, and it didn't require that kind of intense structure. It takes a lot of work to structure out an app like that. 
But now as we keep building this thing out, it seems like well, maybe we should have done that. And I think in the future, I'll show you different ways to do that when we get done with this app, maybe. We'll do it all over again slightly differently, but we'll we'll template it out differently or whatever. But just for now, this is a pretty simple way to you know split apart some of the different main categories of things in your app. Like I said, here we have got web forms. At the bottom of this page, we've got database models. The rest of this file is basically just routes and functions, and it's a whole lot easier to work with. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships to pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.